being joined right now uh, by Fox's Robert Sherman, not in Northport, but in St. Petersburg, where kind of another locus of this search is taking place. Robert, what do you know at this hour? Well, Andrew, that new video that Fox has obtained comes from that same August 12th incident over in Moab, Utah. But this time you're seeing the perspective of another officer that was involved in that incident. And in the video, you can see both Petito and Laundry speaking with those officers after a bystander called in an alleged domestic dispute. Uh, we've shown and we've sh we've shown that 911 call to you all before on this program in the past, where a bystander alleges that Brian Laundry struck Gabby Petito. In this video, Petito does acknowledge that she was struck by Brian Laundry, but she also claims that she started the fight. Listen to this. There's two people saying that they saw him punch you. We're just independent witnesses by Moonflower. Well, to be honest, I definitely hit him first. Where'd you hit him? I slapped him. Crazy. You, you slapped him first? And then what, just on his face? You get to you shut up. And the officer at time does point out bruises and markings on Petito's body, but no arrests were made. Meanwhile, the search in Northport is intensifying after the FBI went to the laundry home yesterday and removed pieces of evidence that they believe will assist the canine units in tracking down the 23-year-old who is still listed as the only person of interest in Petito's homicide. And finally, celebrity Dwayne Chapman, also known as Dog the Bounty Hunter, confirmed to us today that he was back out searching for Brian Laundry, He claims that he's received thousands of tips at this point. Some of those he's shared with law enforcement. Uh, Brian, uh, excuse me, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter's search has for the most part revolved around Fort DeSoto Park that's just about 10 minutes away from us here in St. Petersburg. Um, but he tells us uh, that he has now announced a new $10,000 reward to anyone who provides information that leads to an arrest of Brian Laundry. Andrew. Now, Robert, you've had quite a particular and unique experience the last two days, I believe, uh, really embedding yourself with uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, Dwayne Chapman's uh, search teams uh, in uh, Edmont Park uh, and other areas, I believe, of Fort DeSoto Park as well. Uh, what has that been like? Can you offer us some context? Uh, what was that experience like? Yeah, Fox was the only media that was able to accompany Dog the Bounty Hunter back on Wednesday. Uh, and uh, what, you know, what we saw on the ground, we saw him bring this canine unit along with him as they were searching a number of these isolated islands you know, that don't have any inhabitants on them. He's under the belief that there is a possibility that Laundry ended up on one of those islands, maybe stayed there, maybe is still currently there. At least that was, was the thought process on Wednesday. So we saw those crews combing through some of those islands islands. Dog the Bounty Hunter, it's important to note, yes, has his own TV show, yes, is a celebrity, very meticulous out in the field. And we saw the way that they would go through everything, you know, whether it was a drink can that was sitting out, whether it was an old fireplace, they would analyze everything that they could see. You have to keep in mind as well, we were the only crew that was out there, and they actually didn't want any media crews to be accompanying them. We ended up finding out exactly where they were. This is not being done in the limelight. This is not being done in front of all these cameras. This is Dog the Bounty Hunter and about 10 to 12 hand-picked individuals doing this behind closed doors and keeping law enforcement in the loop. Uh, so from everything that we can gather, it's, again, a very meticulous process and also a very sincere effort to find Brian Laundry. Yeah, Robert, that was one of my other questions, too. You know, how closely linked uh, is his investigation, you know, with the FBI's? Are they in contact? Do they kind of keep tabs on each other as to the progress uh, of the search and the investigation? And also, he's faced criticism as well as being kind of this, you know, unnecessary interloper in, in this, kind of getting in the way. Did he offer any insight into that? Kind of explain to us why he wants to do this. Why is he there? Yeah, taking this one piece at a time. So, you know, starting off with the role that Dog the Bounty Hunter has played with law enforcement. 
a number of these credible tips that he has received and investigated himself, he has shared with law enforcement, and that really brought Fort DeSoto Park into the sphere uh, that is being investigated at this point. I mean, the FBI really can, can in many regards, uh, they, they took some of the work that Dog the Bounty Hunter had been doing and have expanded on that in some of these regions. Um, we know from his team that a uh, officer in plain clothing was accompanying Dog the Bounty Hunter today on some of his searches. That's as uh, you know, an attempt to show good faith that there is going to be this cooperation between the two groups. So there has been that communication. There has been that dialogue between law enforcement uh, and Dwayne Chapman's search efforts. That criticism that you point out, Andrew, all you have to do is go on Twitter in order to find it, where people contend that uh, Chapman's involvement in this is a publicity stunt, saying that he's really just looking for ratings, you know, in order to gin up content, you know, for his new show. It is important to keep in mind that Dwayne Chapman has found fugitives, uh, you know, that are well known. Like, for example, Andrew Luster back in 2003. Right. There have been these uh, individuals that have been highly sought after by law enforcement that Chapman, in effect, brought to justice. He has done this before. He was not going to be involved in this, using his words, until a number of his fans reached out to him and said that they wanted him to assist in that Brian Laundry search. And again, we have not seen him in front of the cameras often, except for the times that we've been able to follow him to some of these searches. This has not been uh, a media circus, shall we say, where there are cameras upon cameras following him around. Again, this has all been done outside of the limelight from everything that we've been able to see to this point. Yeah, definitely, Robert. He, he's no amateur at this. So we appreciate you offering some of that insight since you were embedded with him the last two days. A very unique experience as the search for Brian Laundry continues. We'll speak to you again. Have a good weekend.